Hello and welcome to Clive Barker's Undying. Let me just get the mic a little closer. We will play Clive Barker's Undying because it's an old game that I used to play when it came out, which was a very long time ago, and it's an Unreal Tournament Engine game, so it's like literally 15 years old or something. Uh, it does not run in 16 by 9 resolutions uh, on default. It just doesn't have it in the game. So I'm running the game at <laughs> 12, 1280 by 1024. So this will be a 4x3 aspect ratio video, which is going to be interesting. Uh, although I'm playing on a on a 16 by 9 screen and the game stretches, so it will look weird, even weirder on on my screen than it will be in, than it will on YouTube. But before I start the game, I just want to mention that uh, last two videos, the Skyrim videos, the audio quality wasn't that great. There was a lot of background noise, and that is because of my PC because it's on this table. So it's not under the table, but it would be more isolated for audio. Uh, I've built a sound isolation thing. Here's a picture, which is kind of shady as hell, but it kind of works. And I hope the audio quality is going to be better as a result. So let's get right, let's get, not gate, get into the game. Uh, yeah, don't know how to play this game, haven't done anything. I just I just started the game, checked video, audio and controls and that's literally it. So let's go new game and let's hope it still is fun. Easy, medium or nightmare. Let's go medium. Ah, I'm tired of traveling or fighting superstition and its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism. Little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make my skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. He commanded an officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me, but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. Okay, I'm uh, just gonna turn down my headphones a bit because it's a bit loud. So we're in Ireland. Uh, I would go and, you know, say hello to Jack Zeptigai, but this is 1923, so Jack isn't born yet. Neither am I, for that matter. Q. Okay, then. I have to turn down the mouse my sensitivity because that's a lot of overkill. Oh, <laughs> still. So yeah, it doesn't look good because you know it's old. So yeah, Ooh, I have a ro revolver and I do have ammo. And I killed a rat. I don't know what this stone is. I don't know what this is. I can't stop it. Brilliant! What the fuck? So this is some kind of. Um, scary vision is what I'm gonna call it. Can I 
Whoa, what is hitting? Oh, the fucking rats are actually attacking me. Die, you stupid rat. How's the revolver? Alright, that works. Yeah, okay, I'm just getting used to the controls here. So this used to be a really scary game. I don't know how well it will hold up. How well it has held up, I should try to say. Yeah, mouse sensitivity is insane. So let's not kill any more rats, let's go to the house. Loading! Shortest level ever. <laughs> I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah is now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. I apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. That house is huge. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. The best looking thing about those graphics the is the shadows. Has so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. I'll try. Don't know how, but I will. <clears throat> Loading! Okay, and she's gone. So I don't know if there are any high resolution texture mods like there are for, for example, uh, the first Deus Ex. I, I don't know if I played that or if I wanted to play it. What the fuck was that? What? Okay, there's ghosts. The funny thing is, this is like the the 2G version of it, and this chair texture doesn't look that bad considering how old this game is, especially compared to the the rest of the textures. I mean, look at this this wood thing. This does not look any. It doesn't look good comparable to the chair. But okay. So what was up with that ghost? Is there anything I can do? Oh, hi. What the hell? Wow. I'm a very scared person, in case you didn't know that. There's, yeah, of course there's gonna be a fucking loading screen. Patrick, you made it. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. Great. The rest of the hell was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence. <coughs> I remember that poster. Things have increased since I've been back from the war. <coughs> I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak <coughs> to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? It sounds like it came from downstairs. <laughs> I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. I thought he was bedridden. How the fuck is he supposed to lock the door? And the med kit is gone. Okay, great. Can I go in here? Okay, no. So, this guy's very quick with his revolver, apparently. Like, whoa! <laughs> okay, that's the problem with these headphones. Ow. Any quick movement will send them flying off my head. They're great otherwise, but <laughs> holy crap. Did not want that to happen, so let's. Jammed. 
Okay, let's not get on. Stuck. Jammed. Stuck. Can I go back? Oh! Whoa! Hello! You you were on that uh, painting I just saw. Um, do I have to kill you? I mean, you're a ghost, so... Okay, let's follow the ghost. That doesn't sound good. Can I have a flashlight? What the hell is this? I pressed F. And loading, of course. Man, the, the levels in this game is... Oh, hi. Can you describe what you can only see? The flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. Okay. You picked up bullets by jumping on a table. That's how reality works. That's not a door, apparently. Okay, I have to set up the brightness a little because you won't be able to see anything. Brightness. Yeah, it's a little better. Yay. So far. Oh, okay, that's my inventory. Whoa! Okay, that was good. I think that jumping sound is directly from, from Unreal Tournament. That did not sound good. Are you... Whoa! Of course, I have to reload. Ow! I am so bad at this. Ha! Missed, bitch. Come on, come at me. Whew. Okay, R is not reload. How do I reload? <laughs> Can I manually reload? Why is it so bright in here? Okay, they jumped in through the roof apparently. Okay, let's take a health pack. Where the hell do you come from? Whew. How do I reload? And how do I use uh, health packs? Let me just quick. Use inventory. Enter. Of course, the most backass key on the planet. Ne I have spells. Uh, previous spell. Three and four. Okay. Use spell. Don't know how to use. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I scrolled past it, didn't I? Use inventory. All oh, right. Enter. Okay. Okay, it doesn't refill immediately, it, it, it slowly goes up. Good to know. Still haven't found a re. Damn it, how the hell? How could I have missed that? Okay, I am so bad at aiming in this game. I don't even know if headshots actually do more damage in this game because they're. Are those my bloody f Whoa, that's amazing. Let me try that. Okay, that, that, that's pretty cool. That's a really cool detail for a game that is essentially really old. I did not expect that. I go through blood, I leave bloody footprints, which is... Oh, nice. Today that's kind of... Not even today it's standard, actually. But back then, that's really amazing. Hi. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow. Of course I miss. Wow. Ow. At least he's reasonably fast with reloading this thing. Ouch. Those guys hurt. Maybe I should have picked easy because I'm already 
having problems with health here. So, do I have to... I don't... What do I have to do in the first place? Hmm. Okay, that's one button. Okay, I don't have any objectives that I can see. Yeah. Took you down, bitch. That looks like a door. And it is a door. I am so amazing. You gained an amplifier. I have no clue what an amplifier is. The game hasn't really explained anything. Can't look at uh, books, which you know think you would be useful. Uh, you think that'd be useful in considering I'm into the occult and everything. So is he dead? No, he's hiding. Those beasts were after me. What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers, and while I've never seen one before tonight, I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. You think? They're fighting more than superstition here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. You think? When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this isle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones, something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? They all died. Something answered. <laughs> the ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a school mm -hmm. with a picture I'll of the stone on it. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them and put an end to this mess. The next day in your guest room. So let's save here. What's interesting is that the stone that I'm wearing around my neck in the cutscenes when I switch weapons, I'm holding it in my hand. So I'm holding it in my hand all the time I equip it. I found a scroll, apparently. New journal entry. What the hell? F3, I think. The scroll Jeremiah gave me has revealed a powerful spell. It seems that with proper concentration and focus of my mana, I'm able to release ethereal bolts of ectoplasm from my hand. That just is a cool sentence. Unreliable at far range, the mystical damage seems quite effective in close quarters. P for Patrick. So how do I do next spell? Ooh. Oh, and, and the R thing I have? That doesn't work. Come on. Ooh, that's a quick spell thing. Ectoplasm. Okay. Ah, okay, right mouse button is shoot in this case. Bullets! Maybe the active plasm is gonna be more effective against those howlers. And loading. <laughs> I swear, this game supports like two rooms in the map, but then it has to load a new map. You're ugly. Alright. Okay, that's my manor. The bottom right thing. What? 
now. Who the hell are you? Have you noticed anything strange going on? Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during the commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. Of it's course. Quite a mess. So let's check out uh, Elizabeth's room. Just down the hall from here. And then. Stuck. Well, that's not it. Then we're gonna end this episode because it's already getting a, a little long. So is this it? P. Elizabeth. Beth. Locked. Bethany's room key. God damn it. I thought it's been broken into. Why do I need a key Won't budge. to a door that's been broken into? And who are all these people? Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she's spitting curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of girl. Her mother died birth and her. Indeed. Following her mother's death, I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, no wasting sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick. You do not look even time. remotely old enough to have raised to die in the spring of a life. girl. Uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> poor man, seeing a ghost is never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Thank you. Where else will a groundskeeper be other than the garden? Lisbeth. Not Elizabeth, but Lisbeth. Alright, whatever. Okay, so I need a key to get into a room and I need to talk to the groundskeeper, uh, who is apparently in the garden, you know, keeping to the ground. Uh, makes sense. So I'm gonna save here again and do a manual save because I'm very paranoid. So, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And I'm gonna leave this episode here. This is a very interesting game, a very old game. It has some technical problems. And it's so far not as scary as I remember it being, but yeah, maybe we'll get into it uh, at a later date. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you want, where I always post uh, when there's a new video out and also some other random crap about tech. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Oliver here at Vienna Gamer and I will see you in the next video.